Hello students and teachers. So this is the part 2 for our differentiation rules for exponential functions. So dun sa part 1 ng video natin, diniscuss natin yung first 4 questions. So sa num number 5 na tayo. So number 5, y is equal to e raised to x minus 3 over e raised to x plus 3. So again, uh, dun sa unang video, yung unang rule na na-apply natin is yung e raised to x, ang derivative niyan ay still e raised to x. So yun ang nagamit natin. So dito, okay, so quotient rule ang gagamitin natin. So first, what is u? Ang u natin is e raised to x minus 3. And then yung v natin is e raised to x plus 3. Okay, apply the quotient rule. So, what we're going to do, paano nga ginagawa yun? So, y prime is equal to v times the derivative of yung u natin, yung numerator natin. So, that is e raised to x minus 3. And then, kapag quotient rule, kapag divide, okay, nag-divide tayo, minus ang gagamitin natin. Then, copy. So, si I suggest na bracket yung gamitin nyo kapag nag-subtract uh, tayo. Kasi, chini-change chini -change natin yung sign sa loob nito. Yung subtract natin. So, copy yung numerator natin, which is the value of u, e raised to x minus 3, times the derivative of yung denominator natin. So, yun yung b natin, no? e raised to x plus 3. 3. All over. Okay. So, ang V pala natin, hindi ko na... So, ang V natin dito is E raised to X plus 3. Okay. And then, all over, V squared. Ang V squared natin, so, anong value ng V? E raised to X plus 3 squared. Okay. So, again, ha? Pagkukuha tayo, denominator times derivative ng numerator minus numerator times derivative ng denominator over yung denominator natin times squared. Okay? So, simplify. So, e raised to x plus 3 times. Okay. So, what is the derivative of e raised to x? Still, e raised to x. Der uh, derivative ng negative 3 since constant yan, 0. So, Yan ang sagot natin. Minus, copy e raised to x minus 3 times, so word here, ano yung derivative natin? That is e raised to x. Okay, e raised to x na lang. And after that, okay, don't forget yung denominator natin, na e raised to x plus 3 squared. And then after that, multiply. So, e raised to x times e raised to x. So, pag nagmumultiply, ina-add natin yung exponent. No? So, meron tayong e raised to 2x plus 3 times e raised to x minus, okay, so simplify natin. Multiply muna natin yung sa loob ng parenthesis. So, e raised to x times e raised to x, that is e raised to 2x minus 3 e raised to x. Okay? All over e raised to x plus 3 squared. Then, after that, okay, so lipat natin, o ilalabas natin ngayon yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, kaya magbabago ang sign. So, copy e raised to x plus 3e e raised to x minus, so magiging minus e raised to 2x and the negative times negative that will become positive 3e e raised to x all over e raised to x plus 3 squared is equal to so as you can see class, pwede natin to i-cancel okay so, ang may iwan na lang dito is yung 3e e raised to x plus 3e e raised to x. And that is 6e e raised to x all over e raised to x plus 3 
squared. So this will be the final answer. So y prime is equal to 6e x, I know 6e raised to x over the quantity of e raised to x plus 3 squared. I hope na nakuha nyo yung proseso na ginawa natin. Okay, number 6, we have h of x is equal to 2e raised to x over 4e raised to x plus 3. So, same yung ginawa natin sa number 5. Okay, so proceed na tayo, no? So, ang u natin is equal to 2e raised to x. Ang v natin is equal to 4e raised to x plus 3. Okay, proceed na tayo sa uh, solution natin. So, h prime of x is equal to, again, dito, kapag ganito yung given, quotient rule ang gagamitin. So, copy first yung denominator natin for ex or yung, ibig sabihin yung v natin, no? Yung denominator plus 3, tapos multiply natin ito sa derivative ng numerator natin. Minus, okay, minus, copy yung numerator, so again bracket, 2e raised to x times yung derivative ng denominator natin, which is 4e raised to x plus 3. Okay, all over, all over, 4e raised to x plus 3 squared. Okay, then after that, simplify natin, so 4 e raised to x, copy lang ito, multiply, so what is the answer here? Distill 2 e raised to x. No? Yung e raised to x, yung derivative ng e raised to x is e raised to x times 2, kaya 2 e raised to x pa rin. Minus, okay, 2 e raised to x times, okay, what is the derivative of 4 e raised to x? So, still 4 e raised to x plus, o oh, wala na, kasi yung derivative ng constant is 0. All over, okay, 4 e raised to x plus 3 squared. So, this will be, okay, if we're going to multiply, 4 times 2, that is 8 e raised to 2x, okay, plus 3 times 2, that is 6 e raised to x. 6 e raised to x. Minus, okay, ito. 2 times 4, that is 8 e raised to 2x. Okay. All over, 4 e raised to x plus 3 squared. Okay. So, ito makakancel natin. So, ang may e1 is 6 e raised to x over 4 e raised to x plus 3 squared. So, this will be the final answer. Alright. So, uh, next number, number 7. So, for number 7 and 8, we're going to apply this uh, rule. Okay. The derivative of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x, ln a. So, i-apply natin ito sa number 7 and 8, itong rule na to. So, for number 7, we have f prime of x. So, yung a natin sa number 7 is 26. So, copy lang natin. So, what is the derivative ng ano natin? 26x. Pali pala, 26 raised to x is equal to, so sundan lang natin, ang a natin is 26, copy lang yan, tapos copy lang yung ln, ibig sabihin yung the natural logarithm, diba yung ln, tapos yung a natin, which is 26. So yan na, yan na yung sagot sa number 7. 26 raised to x, ln 26. So number 8, so number 8, meron tayong 3 sa labas, so ihiwalay natin yan. So, f prime of x is equal to 3 times the derivative no 9 raised to x. So, this is 3, okay, times 
Okay, multiply. What is the derivative of 9 raised to x? So, applying this rule, that is 9 raised to x ln 9. So, this will be the answer. Okay. 3 times the quantity of 9 raised to x ln 9. So, that will be the uh, answer for number 7 and 8. And this is the end of the part 2 of our practice exercises about exponential function. Getting the derivative of the functions, no gamit yung rules sa exponential.